This is Safe Jassum, orthopedic surgeon at Ortho Nebraska. Today we'll be presenting a total knee arthroplasty using the Velus Robotic Assisted Knee System. This knee system is offered by multiple surgeons here at Ortho Nebraska, and I do encourage you to discuss this further with your surgeon. We will begin with a three minute, two step sterile preparation to ensure sterile technique. Here's a view of the sterilely prepared back table. And here are standard x-rays obtained prior to the surgery. Now we are gowning and gloving in sterile technique, which helps maintain our ultra low infection rate here at Ortho Nebraska. To begin the procedure, we will place the knee in a particular position so that the robotic system can see the knee throughout the range of motion. Once we have adequate positioning of the robotic system in relation to the patient's knee, we'll move on to the next step, which is registration. During registration, your surgeon will register certain areas on the knee itself, so the robotic system recognizes the patient's unique anatomy. This particular system does not require images prior to the surgery and only utilizes information obtained during the surgery itself. Once the patient's unique anatomy is accurately registered, your surgeon will go through a set of checks to ensure adequate registration. Following registration, your surgeon will take the knee through a range of motion to assess the knee dynamically or while it's moving. The system will display all knee abnormalities throughout the full range of motion. Once the assessment is completed, the robotic system will generate a three-dimensional model of the patient's knee and allow your surgeon to precisely position the implant to ensure adequate stability of your knee throughout the range of motion. This will help allow your surgeon to ultimately place the final implants in a position that will allow for full restoration of function. Once the bone resection plan is completed, your surgeon will utilize the robotic system to complete the bony cuts with an accuracy of 1 32nd of an inch. Therefore, your surgeon will be able to precisely position the final implants. It is important to note your surgeon is in complete control of the robotic system from start to finish. Once the bony resections are completed, your surgeon will place the final implants on. The robotic system will then be removed from the sterile field and your surgeon will close the incision in layered fashion and place sterile dressings.